Hi, Monday morning, uh, the 27th of October. I'm in uh, Lemon Tree Passage at Mum's while she's away. Uh, this is the first entry of uh, noting emotions, goals, and progress on the coaching stuff. Uh, I went for my walk. Um, I've really looked at um, wanting to think about writing the coaching books. Uh, we'll be writing the coaching books. Basically, uh, a compilation of questions, so generic questions um, that I'm going to capture at least 10 high profile sportsmen, politician, business people and question their ability to use coaches, what influences the coaches had on them, uh, whether they coach people um, and their successes. Um, emotions. Um, Feeling good. Um, I've realised that uh, some of the affirmations that I've been working on over the last week on the cruise and so on and so forth, I started out with, um, I'm getting thinner and my back feels great. Uh, if these are going to be goals that I'm going to be setting, they need to be um, a bit smarter, so they need to be a little bit more specific. Uh, so I've changed the focus of the weight loss to, uh, I will be at least 109 kilos by 25th of December 2014 um, and uh, my fitness and stretches will keep my back uh, strong and sturdy throughout the golf trip um, leading into 2015 uh, which brings me to the progress of the coaching institute got some fantastic ideas um, about uh, a coaching reciprocity group came up with the name of uh, reciprocity coach, uh, meaning that I'll be coaching um, whatever people put out there in the world, they'll get back in return. Um, not that they're asking for it, but um, that's just give and take. Um, and looking at bringing coaches together. So there's four or five different specialised coaches, uh, leadership, relationship, career, um, business, etc., etc. Um, Organising groups to work together, um, so they network with each other, using the power and the force of, uh, if there's five in a group, then they're marketing to five different groups of people, and it's about referrals and word of mouth. So someone may need a relationship coach, and when they're explaining it to their friends or family, they identify that they might need a business coach or a careers coach or a leadership coach, they can refer each other. They can also look at um, posting articles, posting blog posts, etc., etc. And within the group of four or five coaches, they link to each other's posts, they refer to the strategies that they use in their specific specialized field. Um, and how someone else's blog post relates to what they're trying to suggest. Um, so if they were to write, each write one blog post a week, they then uh, refer to each other's blog post. Um, so four posts, so five posts in all, and then they go on and they make a comment in each other's blog. Um, they refer all their um, clients to the other blogs to show comparisons on how coaching helps in other areas and other fields. Um, and they start to build a community and they start to work with each other. They then have the opportunity to look at, uh, for example, if they're in Sydney, we'd look at getting a coach on the Northern Beaches, doesn't matter what, which area. The other coach might be Western suburbs, the other might, coach might be inner city, the other coach might be uh, Eastern suburbs and the other coach might be Southern suburbs. If they each have a complex or they each have a venue, they might have an office space or something like that, we then look at organising um, seminars or group talks where each coach will get the opportunity to speak to the group. Each group brings clients or prospective clients to that venue on an evening and they get a free uh, seminar or information night on the benefits of coaching. The idea there is they can go to the five different venues. They're reducing the cost of the venues. They're also increasing the, the volume of networking and word of mouth, getting people into the room. Um, so a person may come with their partner. The person might be coming to look at 
leadership coaching and the partner might find, oh, they could do something about relationship coaching or so on and so forth. So it's about growing their network in that sense. And they're also increasing the option to work in different areas within the city. Um, so if we get different coaches from different areas, they can all move around and shift and, and so on and so forth as coaching's done over the phone. So these are just a few ideas that the, um, the coaching business direction could go. Uh, it's not hard and fast. Obviously, I don't want to get ahead of myself. Um, I want to be open to suggestions and ideas. Um, and this sort of leads into taking these groups on cruises, um, which I've thought through and so on and so forth. Now, moving into goals. As it look, that's five minutes. Um, the goals, I want to try and aim for five to ten goals a day. Um, so today, it's going to be to do at least two hours work with Ivana, to get up to date with all the Open Colleges work, although that's pretty quiet. Um, I've done my walk, so there's the fitness stuff out of the way. I want to look at what I'm eating and focus on eating healthily, um, which is going to tie in with my diet and losing weight and feeling a lot better about myself. Uh, a fifth goal would be to be alcohol free and sixth goal smoke free. I'm now day 12, I think, and not having a cigarette. Um, and it works really well along the lines of how good would it feel if I if uh, I've been smoke free for over seven days and I got through that period, it's now got to the point where I'm hardly thinking about it. So now I want to put my focus on alcohol and drinking um, because I've sort of identified when I'm going through the coaching stuff that a lot of my hang-ups and anchors stem back to the bullying and being picked on because of the color of my skin, the, the fluffiness of my hair. Um, and the way kids treated me and bullied me, uh, I think that's then stemmed to how I look and how other people perceive me, um, which has been a great concern, which is something that's reflecting on my weight at the moment that I, I didn't enjoy um, Nick wanting to take photos on the cruise and stuff like that and seeing the video that uh, one of the women took of me with my shirt off around the pool um, disgusted me, um, which is something I'll feel better about if I... Um, lose some weight but I also want to look at not having to worry about those sort of things but anyway it led me down the path of the, um, from about 15 16 focusing so much on being well liked by my friends um, being introduced to alcohol I have a feeling I'm not saying it's true that um, I took this belief that alcohol brought me out of my shell I became a friendlier person with people um, I'd talk more, I'd get more smiles out of people, they'd enjoy my company. So alcohol's taken a big part of my life, uh, as in my social life. Um, I possibly thought that I've always needed to drink to get along with people. Um, and being self-employed and stuck by myself, um, I didn't have other people to talk to, so I didn't have a point of comparison. So now... Uh, my main goal is to focus on getting out into the world and seeing people and getting along really well with people for who I am, um, being sober. So my first goal there is I haven't had a drink since Friday night. And I'd like to um, start by focusing on getting through this period with mum at mum's um, to not have a drink until Wednesday and see how good it feels. I would like to think that I'm going to focus on not drinking at the conference. Um, I can do it. I'm uh, good enough to get through it sober and I don't need the alcohol to to meet other people and to be sociable on, on these things. Uh, I'll then get through this week and then look at Melbourne Cup and the golf trip. But um, that's it for me. Bye.